Let's talk about cloud attacks. Now, when it comes to the cloud, having uh, basically vulnerabilities be exposed or insiders become an issue, uh, we need to be aware that cloud attacks can occur due to vulnerabilities, but they can also occur inside and outside of the cloud as well. Now, when it comes to uh, attack types, uh, for example, and vulnerabilities, these are the more common ones. And of course, this is not an exclusive list, but more to give you some insight on areas that you'll likely see on the exam. Now, when it comes to the objectives, these are specifically um, basically detailed. So that's why I want to cover these mainly uh, for this uh, part of the course. Now, when it comes to DDoS attacks, these are, of course, distributed denial of service attacks. These are very common issues. So how do we sort of deal with this from a cloud administrator, cloud architect perspective, cloud manager perspective? Well, generally, DDoS attacks can come from generally any external source. And it could be kicked off by rogue uh, employees or, you know, bored college kids or deplorables or, you know, whatever, right? This stuff just happens and it happens quite a bit. So if you've ever managed websites before, you know that this is not unusual. So how do you deal with this? Generally, you want to mitigate uh, with load balancing firewalls and also packet filtering as well and NIP filtering, so filtering in general. The next one would be virtual machine hopping. Now this is less and less of an issue um, and mainly because the hypervisor vendors have really done a good job at you know removing uh, or mitigating those issues. Uh, however, in the cloud, virtualization is done a little bit differently in a lot of respects. And the cloud vendors actually have additional layers uh, of protection, such as sandboxes, etc. So this really um, isn't so much of an issue, but you can rest assured you'll likely uh, see something on VM vulnerability. So I wanted to talk about VM hopping, VM uh, jacking. These are very uh, common terms used in the industry. How do you mitigate? Well, generally, uh, vendor patches, having specific uplinks and VLANs as well. Data bleeding. This is uh, going to happen typically in the older programming platforms. This is more of an issue back in the uh, heyday of the dot-com era and the early cloud days. Uh, I think a lot of this has been mitigated and in reality, like with HTML5, uh, and also to a lot of uh, uh, newer websites, uh, I, th I think are really um, prepared for issues like this. But basically, data bleeding is a vulnerability where code could be inserted, and then basically information could be extracted. And in reality, other types of attacks will so for example other types of attacks that are similar to data bleeding would be for example like if you're using dropbox or onedrive icloud etc that can definitely expose the data risk that you have and a lot of the data bleeds or actually just what i would call um, poor data management is usually a result of permissioning in those services now Again, when we deploy our services, we need to mitigate threats. We need to, of course, synchronize data, but we need to pay attention how we synchronize. We need to make sure that we have links that expire after a certain time. This is really true uh, in specific services such as Dropbox uh, and uh, Hightail, etc. Compromise credentials. This is... Uh, Again, very common. This is, uh, you know, typically like where I think we've all seen like the mem with folks leaving their passwords uh, and account 
information under their keyboards or under their mouse pad. Again, a lot of this can be prevented by just good common sense and training. But in reality, the users that we have for, in our enterprise using the cloud services are generally a result of the training that they're provided. So if you have very poor training in your organization, you're gonna have behavior like this a little bit more routine in a lot of cases. So what we need to do is really determine how we're going to have users log into the cloud. Do we require them to use a VPN? Do we um, expire credentials after so many attempts on you know, using that credential? Do we also use strong encryption or have an acceptable use policy? And again, there's a lot more here, but for the purposes of this course, I just wanted to provide some um, insight into areas that uh, are very common when it comes to uh, cloud threats. So the main test tip here is to know the common types of attacks, such as DDoS, compromised credentials, um, etc., and and uh, VM hopping. And of course, there's other uh, types of attacks around data risks. Um, also, too, another thing to point out is a lot of the attacks uh, that can happen can be a result of someone getting fired or someone writing um, scripts that they shouldn't be. These are insider-based threats that can definitely happen. 